What's going on? Back plugged in again with your boy the Prophet. And yo, check this out, man. So today we're gonna be taking a look, another comparison, a head-to-head. Uh Ginzuru versus Ford Fusion uh Hogeku Aizen. So one of the best characters in the game for a long time. We'll see if uh Ginzuru has replaced him as um the best frenzy SR killer. Don't forget to like share, subscribe, perfect. Love y'all. I'm about to get the pop. You, you know what, man? Just, just drop my shit. plugged in again all right hope you guys enjoyed that uh that little intro there um all right so we're gonna go ahead and start getting to it with our flies and build um zeta pill fortification uh pill and uh, lieutenant's badge now the links on my flies and are pretty much like the main thing to look at because um he does have my max transcended soy phone he has my um stark which he has like a level uh, he has a level 5 SP slot, I believe, so, um, my Aizen has about, um, about 150 SP less than, um, than Ginzuru, which, at the end of the day, I mean, I got him as close as I could, um, I literally gave Ginzuru, like, very minimal links, um, but we'll see that in just a minute, um, Aizen's, where he truly, truly reigns supreme, is that first strong attack a um, man's absolutely incredible like back inside range and it just it's just so fast it just absolutely rips enemies apart um the fact that he can spam that um it's actually the largest first strong attack in the game as far as um radius without having havoc not only that um it's extremely fast and lunges extremely far the back range from behind is massively potent um his second strong attack is what slows him down a little bit. Um, his third pops off perfectly fine, but we'll go ahead and watch this soul bomb. <laughs> Alright, so some really good numbers on that there. Like I said, five. He is five of five, so it, you know, pretty much is what it is. Um but uh yeah so we have a lot of builds for these particular characters um we're going to be talking very much about them in depth 50 second clear time with the manual build with Dyson. all right so we're going to go ahead and be looking at my ginzuru here um he does have a level 10 um uh, level 10 sp slot but he's only one of five so um he does still have uh, more sp than my flyzen but um, it's still pretty close. I mean, especially considering how old flies it is. I could have actually got it almost perfectly even as far as their SP, but I'm actually low on the small jewels. I have so many large scrolls, but not the small ones. Um, Ginzuru's first strong attack is a very impressive. He has one of the basically the best second strong attack in the entire game, aside from having the same strong attack with Havoc. Um, which is 20% radius. So he has the best second strong attack in the game, which that's really where he he you know he gets a massive advantage on on Flyzen. Flyzen, even though they both have a lunge, he still had the better first strong attack. Um, but Ginzuru, his his bro, his second strong attack is just light years better than Flyzen's, um, and he gets a 20% Berserker without having the boost. <laughs> Okay. Alright, and as you see, I actually picked an accident, an ally on an accident. Shout out to me, David Exclusive. That's his Ukiora. Um, but I'm interested to see. I know the times are going to be pretty close. 45 seconds. There you go. There you go. There you go. 45 seconds um, with Ginzuru. 
So manual build and IZ Ginzuru gets it. Even though Aizen saved about a second or two with the soul bomb. Um, yeah, Ginzuru still got it. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys exactly. So I have my characters ranked in terms of spiritual pressure. And um, this is, you know, counts with accessories. So um, yeah, so they're, so they're not too far off. Especially given like how far the characters are apart from each other um, and pure numbers and Aizen has more focus and attack than Ginzuru so um, You know it pretty much is what it is and uh, Aizen does have a boost which that is um, You know that is good, but as you see when you have a boost move and you're autoing it's just absolutely horrendous It's basically just a wasted strong attack to give you more damage that's how it's used in most cases, but um, that's that's where Aizen, you know, pretty much is is top tier because of his autoing capabilities. So, um, like I said, I'm interested to see who autos faster between the two, and uh, we're gonna be doing autoing Inheritance Zone, and then we're gonna do a regular raid without, um, you know, Inheritance that's not Inheritance Zone, uh, manual and auto. So we have a couple of, um, you know, we have a couple of, uh, you know, builds. And the builds are all the same, too. Like, the builds are all, are all the exact same. I didn't change anything just just to keep it as even, Steven, as possible. We are dealing with Soul Reaper, so we do need the Zeta Pill. Um, I haven't got an extra stage. That doesn't help anything with the clear time. It's not affected by that at all. Extra stage literally does zero to your time. Um. All the thing is Aizen got some extra health, but it's what it is. See what I mean? He just he just used his second strong attack and and attacked absolutely no one with it. He just used it for the for for the fact that it's a boost. So I wish K Lab would fix that, um, would fix the orientation of the boost move and heal moves that do damage um, in PV uh, PVE for autoing. So I mean it's actually not too bad of a time for autoing. But like I said, Flyzen is a pretty good auto as well. So we'll just see what happens here. Pop the boost, hit absolutely no one. And that's the thing, Flyzen, he's he's way more about normal attack damage, which is like if you're if you're using a bunch of normal attack with the frenzy character, you're automatically slowing yourself down because the second strong attack not only doesn't have the range that Ginzuru's, um uh, second strong attack has but it literally comes back like twice as slow so um this is a gein's auto build and between the two personally i would prefer to use kita because he has a lacerate and i would just prefer lacerate over prowess so jesus he got um kind of massacred there yeah i mean i would prefer a lacerate over poison just because like it you know it does damage and it stops them from like using certain moves so yeah but uh, I'm not gonna switch it for the purpose of the video I'm just gonna like let it auto through um, one thing to notice too is that um, the uh, Gein Izuru has guard break 20% uh, bruiser and berserker now Flyzen does have more of a bruiser I believe Flyzen has a 40% uh, bruiser but no berserker but he does have the boost so when he boosts, he gets in 33% um, more uh, normal attack damage, defense, and focus. So that is um, so so focus on a uh, boost character is uh, actually very good as well. So, but overall, they're pretty much pretty close um, in tiers of uh, stats and skills right now, just compared to just comparing the two. But. Um, yeah, and obviously Ginzuru does have the double killer, so bam, we're gonna have to eat that soul bomb there. Okay, look at look at look at him whooping ass, dude. Um, climb. Let's see where we are as far as clear time. He got him by one second. Got him by one second in the IZ auto, so. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get into the Isane raid. We're gonna go ahead and get into this one specifically because it is a uh, speed Soul Reaper raid. Like I said, builds are the exactly the same. 
um and yeah like i said uh, i did want to go ahead and make sure i put the frenzy stark on it but the two like bottom links are only giving me like 91 uh, giving me like 91 um whatchamacallit sp so now and what i could have done to make it like to really even the playing field is i could have basically just used ginzuru with no link slots but like i said man i mean i don't think really like 150 extra sp i know that's um that's nothing really to scoff at but with with transcendence dude like that's that's like i said that's basically like a level four link slot um a level four sp slot so you know all right so we're gonna go ahead and get into a manual build with flyzen gonna try and go ahead and mash this out as quickly as possible um i think that room could have been done maybe just slight a little bit better but um i really did get a lot of attempts trying to like get that perfect um yeah like like and see that's the thing like you you can yeah so so his second hits in two ways as well yeah um but his flies in really really like he really really chews up clear time with his uh with his first strong attack dude that's like a 50 that's like a 40 between 40 and 50 seconds and we got an ally on an accident it's fine um yeah so from i mean i don't know i gotta see what the clear time is for this particular auto oh that's beautiful oh that's 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 that run i look around huh? all right let's let's check out what we got here for our clear time with the solo build 44 seconds that's pretty good that's very impressive um i think i probably could have shaved about two seconds off of the time like but i probably would have had to reset a bunch of time to do it. like i'm not even lying bro like i really did like um you know make sure i like reset a good amount of time to be able to like get you know what i mean like the like the best run for like to to use everybody's strong attacks the best way possible so um, Gein cleared him out with the one two right there. Use the second SA. All right, perfect, perfect, smooth, smooth. Got everything down pretty easily there. Drop the second SA. Then the third. I probably could have just dropped the first to be honest. There wasn't a whole bunch of mobs there, but we're gonna drop the soul bomb here. Uh, dropping the first would have been a bit faster though. Yeah. We kind of lost a little bit of time. I probably could have just dropped the first strong attack, surfed the past them, and then just uh, dropped the soul bomb from there. But, alright, let's see here. So, this is our last um, soul bomb of the game, last manual build. And then we got um, an auto build for both of the two characters. So, I'm really interested to see exactly what our time is right here. 40 seconds so once again better at, at every single stage so far Ginzuru has been better not only on top of that but like you see you see that that guy he like Aizen is, is running into issues with guard there you see what I mean like those those enemies they're guarding against Aizen so he's like like he's he's getting slowed down there and it's like everybody's like, oh, he can spam, and he can spam his first. His, his first strong attack is just illmatic. Like I really wish they they put that on um, more units. To be honest with you, um, especially if someone got havoc, bro. That shit's based like a second strong attack. The day when when they give Flyzen strong attack, his first strong attack to a character with havoc, bro, and a 800 radius or 960 radius second strong attack with a full screener or 1170 radius. That will basically be the best kit that this game can offer. Um, you know. But until then, I would say that the beam is better. But yeah, Aizen's first strong attack is just massively insane. If more lunges were like this, um, it, it, will, it will be a lot closer between lunge and beam, I can assure you. People don't really understand how, how OP his first strong attack is. It's literally a 750 or 725 radius around him with incredible speed and like hit detection it's just on another level for real for real like there's literally no other first strong attack like it busting him up there or busting her up there excuse me okay 
All right, so I'll say about a minute and 10 to minute 20 seconds. All right, minute 18 seconds. Okay. All right. I mean, that's not bad. Can't really complain about that. All right, so this is going to be our last build for the day. And thank you guys for watching the video. This will premiere, so thank everybody chilling with me in the premiere. And make sure you guys wait in the comment section and uh, let me know. Um, make sure you guys um, uh, drop a comment once the video is over so that the comment actually sticks versus just being in the live chat. And if you guys have any questions, I, I'll be happy to answer them during the um, premiere. So just go ahead and let me know. But um, yeah, I mean, like I said, the fact that the uh, that your assist character that he doesn't have guard break I low-key think that helps because he's not damaging those big enemies but the thing is that if he didn't if they did not have guard on him then um, then basically he would just be hitting them and then they would uh, they would basically just be like running your ass over since he hits them and they guard they literally block they stop They stop themselves from moving so um, if he did not have if he had guard break then um, You would still get hit by those like bigger enemies that have a guard break like um, Or that you know they have guard against you so it actually in my opinion It's actually slightly beneficial for him in the protection aspect not in the aspect of him clearing content all right, so we went ahead and just smacked it up. We had an ally on an accident, but they really make a difference. So it's, he didn't even get to like use um, a normal attack string. So. 108. Once again, bro, better at every facet. Like I don't see how anyone could argue that Flyzen is a better unit. Um, like I said, I, Flyzen does have a better first strong attack, but Ginzu's second strong attack is literally miles away from Flyzen's like not only in range in AOE but in cooldown time 20 seconds compared to like 8 seconds with full recharge it just I mean there's just no comparison um, in that regard to be quite frank with you um, yeah man so and then like I said that's not even counting you know Ginzu having double killer you know um, uh, you can switch between um, poison or lacerate. Yeah, man. I mean, I wish that Ginzuru, I wish that you could switch his soul bomb to have poison or lacerate. But it always has poison. Uh, I would prefer lacerate, to be honest. But um, overall, man, both are top tier characters. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to weigh in in the comment section. And once again, I thank everybody for coming to the premiere. Let me know who you want to see next with these type of showcase head-to-head -head videos. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Prof Nation, I love y'all. I'm out, this mother.